against Buffalo. Um, that's usually not um, how, how it goes. He usually puts the offense out. Mm-hmm. Just, um, what do you think about just as a linebacker putting the defense out there first? Um, I mean, I like it. I like going out there and just kind of setting the tone for the game. Um, I, I always like going out first. It just like it kind of calms me a little bit nerve wise too, so I don't have to wait another five minutes or however long the offensive possession is before I get to go play. So it's good. Is that something you'd like to see against Oklahoma? Yeah, I mean, it all just depends on what uh, what Frost wants to do. But yeah, I want to go out there first. Luke, you currently lead the Big Ten in tackles. Can you talk about how your confidence has maybe grown over your first three games of the season? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, uh, I didn't know that by the way, but. Uh, yeah, no, I just like, I feel like I've gotten a lot better from week one, week two to week three. Um, and it's just like, um, I feel like I've put a lot more emphasis on finishing with my tackles and stuff. I had a couple missed tackles those first two games that I really wanted to clean up uh, Buffalo and just kind of build on what I did at Buffalo to going on for the, through the season. To finish at this level, you, you have to, they're not always going to be these wrap up for mm-hmm. jobs. Sometimes you got to leap and you got to go at a guy's foot. How do you, how do you learn that? How, how are they teaching you guys to maybe, you know, use a shoulder or a hand and get somebody's foot? Uh, I mean, Coach Rude does a really good job of teaching us. Like you just got to scrap and claw to come up with a body part. He preaches that almost every single day. Um, and that just comes with, uh, you have to be violent, uh, violent on your tackles and just, you have to finish the play. Body part, I like yep, that. Yep. Being a guy from in state, what's your uh, kind of thoughts just on the rivalry with Oklahoma? And even though most of it occurred before you were born. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I didn't like. So growing up, I, I grew up in Kansas, so I didn't know much. Like, I really didn't know much about Nebraska, Oklahoma, growing up because they were out of the conference uh, by the time I really started watching college football. So, but like going back, like especially now and looking back, like it was the biggest rivalry like in college football. So it's really good to go out there and kind of continue it a little bit. So you get the feeling this one is more for the parents and grandparents? To <laughs> I mean, you could say that for sure. Guys from the 60s and 70s, the game of the century is in the 60s, right? Or 70s? 71. 71. Yeah. See, so shows you how much I know. <laughs> Between you and, and, and Nick and Chris, was that the best you guys have played collectively as a team? <laughs> I thought we played really good as a group um, between all three of us. And then uh, Snods and Va, uh, again, Snodgrass and Va, they, uh, they can play just as well as we can. Like they're, I thought they came in and did a really good job, a really good job coming in too. So we, they're, we have a really good group, a really deep group. What kind of stress does a Oklahoma put on linebackers in particular based on what you've seen of them? Uh, I mean, they're, they're a really good team. They do a lot of, they do a lot of, uh, just different different type of running and stuff um but they're they're just a good team like we and it's just the same same deal coach Rude has been preaching like it doesn't matter who you're playing you have to prepare the same whoever your opponent is so how i prepared for buffalo i'm going to prepare for oklahoma it doesn't matter like the, you have to just have your habits and just let your habits take over Stilly mentioned uh, ben still he said that they their 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 dominant run plays are gap scheme plays. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. how does that change your role on the field I mean, you just have to know uh, what to expect in each each different uh, defensive call we have. Like you have different rules, um, whether it's turn back spill, all that all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it just all depends on the call we're in. But yeah, we have to know what what we're expecting, what what the uh, formation is, and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's it definitely changes call to call. In terms of speed, where does OU stack up with in terms of offenses you've faced in the past? I mean, they're going to be the best offense we've played so far this year. Um, but like they're they're just a really good team. Like they're fourth fourth in the country, I think, for a reason. Like they're they're a good team. You got uh, highlighted this week as a conference player, defensive player mm-hmm. of the week. What that mean to you? Uh, I mean, I didn't even know till I was uh, in the weight room, and I think uh, JoJo came up to me. He's like, "Hey, congrats, man!" I was like, uh, "For what?" Uh, but uh, no, that's a, that's a huge honor for me. Uh, I really, uh, it's just a big honor for me. How well does Nick play next to you? I mean, he had, I think, eight tackles, something like that. Um, how well are you guys kind of feeding off each other? No, um, Nick has been playing at a very high level uh, this year. Like, first two games, he played at a extremely high level, and he's just kind of been flying under the radar a little bit, in my opinion. But he's he's playing very good right now, and I think we feed off each other pretty well. Coach Frost said he knew you could play here day one. Besides Coach Rude, who's somebody, maybe a teammate, past or, or present, that, that really helped you get acclimated to college football? And when did you feel like, 
hey, I can make an impact here? Um, I think for me, it was uh, Josh Banderas because he was my uh, he was uh, like a assistant at uh, North Star when I was there my last two years of high school, um, and he he helped me a ton with uh, with kind of what to expect at the college level and uh, that that sort of thing. So it, it'd definitely be him besides like the coaches and guys on the team right now that kind of like got me uh, got me going for the for the college level. So did you think you could play? As well as <laughs> right away when you got here, was there a certain point where you finally thought, "Hey, I can do this." I mean, I feel like I'm a pretty hard skeptic on myself, so like I've always just kind of been like, "Well, I just had a, I just had a good player, just kind of that deal. It just kind of happens to everybody." Um, but I've just kind of been working and just putting my head down and just keep working and uh, just try to never be satisfied with uh, with my performances. Luke, does this week feel different for you? Knowing everything that's going on with with the increase in opponent and competition level, uh, you have. I mean, yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be more publicity, I guess, to this game. But for me, it just doesn't change. Like it's just we're it's just a nameless, faceless opponent for us. You just have to prepare the exact same way for uh, any team you play, um, and you just have to keep doing what you've been doing. That's that's got me here. So nothing really changes for me. It's Scott Frost said that you grew up in the. Eight doors down from his folks. Uh, so I didn't. I didn't grow up there. I, I grew up in Kansas, and then I moved uh, moved up here to Lincoln. Then, then I was like eight houses down from his parents' house. At. Were you aware that that was the Frost house? And uh, I mean, after I like went on a couple of visits and stuff, he was like, "Well, where do you live?" And I was like, uh, "So and so." He's like, "You live about ten houses down from my parents." I was like, "Oh, well, that's that's neat." So yeah, I was kind of. So trick-or-treating right no I didn't no I did not <laughs> not as a junior in high school no so kind of like a football player? yeah <laughs> hey Luke uh, just kind of want to get your take on this uh, you know the guy from Fordham had 31 tackles mm -hmm. day. he followed that up with 28 I saw that day. yeah I saw that <laughs> yeah what do you think of that I mean he's a, he's a really good player uh, I mean I there's not much to say like he's just putting up unbelievable numbers tackles for you and that's a day full day yeah, too. I it? was super sore after that. I can't can't imagine what that man's going through. So yeah. and that fourth down play you, you make the play and then Coach Frost kind of put his hand did he give you any crap for kind of leaving him hanging there? <laughs> he did at all. I didn't even see I didn't even see him at all. I was just like looking to make sure the runner didn't get the first down and then I just then I just turned around to celebrate it with the teammates. So yeah I just I didn't see Frost at all. I saw that video though where they I <laughs> just left him hanging but not on purpose. Is that, is that as excited as you've seen Coach Rude during a game? He's usually pretty. Seem, it seems from our perspective like he's pretty even keeled most of the time. But he was out there running around. I mean, you if you like pay attention to him, he he gets fired up a couple of times during a game. So like, there's always a couple of plays here and there where he he really gets fired up. But yeah, he was he was pretty excited about that one.